All right, the floor is open for three minutes, candidates. I don't no see subway. the Ford. Well, yeah, where's there, the subway? There is no subway. Mr. Ford, it's time it, for you to go because your gravy train has turned into a train wreck. And, uh, you know, you need to pack up that nonsense that you're talking about. And I don't see any subways. And, and the LRT it, will be faster, cheaper, and better. Just like St. Clair, right? No. Just you, like St. Clair. You don't understand so, the difference so, between uh, an LRT no, and a subway. I know. I, know. I, and I, a street I, was, car. I was told that 14 years ago. That. When you were the budget chief it's for David basic. Miller, that I didn't understand finances, but yet I'm the one leading the charge, saving a billion dollars. We have it approved. You You're going to rip up a deal. I almost want this to carry on. I almost want this to carry on longer have. because it is a typical example with the policy that Ms. Chow and Mr. Siknacki, but Ms. Chow principally, the, the policy that they're espousing, which is to go back and reopen this debate. This shows you exactly what we're going to get for another couple of years instead Faster of getting transit, on with building cheaper, the Scarborough subway now <laughs> and the Street Relief Fund at the same again, time. But again, perfect example. This is the fight we've been having for four years. We can no longer afford the fight. We need to focus on the fix. We don't have a fully funded subway for Finch and Shepherd. We do have a fully funded subway for the extension of the Blue Danforth line. The and next priority line is the downtown relief line. And that's where we need to put our collective need focus every, so we can get Toronto moving. You don't moving. need everybody to pay for a Darren, tax increase. John, let's, let's lay the cards on the table. Do you support an LRT on Shepherd and Finch? Or a subway on uh, Shepherd and Finch. I am proud of the plans that we built over the last That's four years. I will defend tea. them. I will defend tea, them in selections right? so that we can keep Toronto moving. The question, we Karen. cannot go back, Mayor Ford. So you we want an LRT on Shepherd and Finch, John? Do you want an LRT on Shepherd and Finch? No. The fact, the problem with you, just answer the, question. the problem with you, Rob, is that you will just make decisions on any host of subjects without any of the facts in front of you or any regard okay. for whether it, it makes sense. It makes sense. On Shepherd, and that's why you're having trouble getting anything done. The city council, Mr. Tory, why don't you have the to get anything Mr. Tory, why don't you have the courage just to say no to Mr. Ford? Just say no. Have the courage I will to tell say you no right now, the because Finch, it's a failed policy. I'll tell you right policy. now, the Finch okay? Avenue just, line is not justifiable as a subway based on the facts. You, right? you know Finch better. A really? You know better. I know better because than what? The experts, do you, do you because not agree the experts with that? have said, yes. the experts have said that the Scarborough Above ground train service is the way to go. Olivia, Why are you supporting Mr. It's Ford's position? I'll, I'll Don't you have the courage to, to stand up against that him that and just position. say no? Olivia, the professionals that we need to rely on. It's the people that take transit every day and the people and that we're here to serve. The debate take when transit transit when you have three it's, governments that have agreed on this, three governments have agreed on this, nine members of, uh, of a city council uh, and, and, and all of the MPPs from Scarborough, and you have the money in place, and you want to reopen the debate and start this over again. The application to the federal government hasn't even gone in. We need There's to go no back to the original decision. What, what federal money? What federal money? $660 million, well, Olivia. You know what? The city hasn't even put in an application. We won't get that so-called subway for 10 I'll tell years. I'll we'll get with you is another time. Time. As we mentioned, each of the five candidates gets to ask another candidate a question on any topic they wish. Olivia Chow is first. The question is to Rob Ford. We have two minutes for this segment. Olivia? Yes, uh, Mr. Ford. As we have seen so often, you say just about anything, but then there's the truth. Like you said, you're for the little guy, but last week I heard a story about buses driving by, leaving mom with the baby stroller waiting at the bus stop because there was just no room for the bus after you've cut the funding. My, so my, my question is very simple. What do you say to the mom and the kids that have been left out in the cold at the bus stop because of your cuts to TDC, Mr. Ford? Well, what Liv, do you say to them? Well, Liv, you, uh, you, you know the truth, and the fact of the matter is I haven't cut the TTC. We've actually fully funded subway is going to be built in Scarborough. We're going to fully fund Shepherd. We're going to fully fund Finch subway, not LRTs, and the downtown relief line. I don't flip-flop like other people. I stick by the subway. I respect your view on LRTs. Mr. Byford has done a fantastic job in straightening out the TTC. But if you're going to sit here and say we're going to add buses, increase fares, that's your prerogative. We don't have to have a fare increase. I haven't supported a fare increase, and I will not support a fare increase. We have to find Mr. efficiency. Ford, enough is enough. Just because you're saying it doesn't mean it is true. I have done it. Our, you know, we've had it with the scandals and the lack of the truth. It's time to go because, you know, it's, you are embarrassing our city. And the TDC had been cut. 
the buses are more crowded, people are packed like sardines, TDC fares have gone up several times, and how could you get away with this kind of crazy line because well, there's not truth? Well, I, again, uh, Olivia, you know the fact, I have not cut one red cent on the TTC, I've invested more in transit than any previous mayor ever has. Ford, again, you look you at, again. I was four it years ago, four years ago. Okay, time up. Right now, we want to bring in our special city news debate panel, city news political specialist, Cynthia Mulligan, Wei Lee from Omni, Emma Title, McLean's, and Royce and James of the Toronto Star. Emma, please lead off with the first question again, two minutes for this segment. Um, yeah, I have a question for John Tory. Uh, John, we know about your plans to extend subway service throughout the city, but those plans won't be executed for a very long time. Meanwhile, bus service in the city is abysmal. I want to know if you have any specific plans to improve bus service in the city. Well, thank you for the question. Uh, beyond having plans, which I will elaborate on, to uh, improve bus service in the city, there's also got to be things done to make sure that traffic, overall, traffic congestion is relieved. Because at the end of the day, the buses, of course, in most cases, sit in the middle of the traffic jam. So I think this is a very important, and I will have, it's a long campaign that has just begun, I will have specific measures. I have no problem with the notion of what uh, Ms. Chow talks about in terms of improving bus service. We might want to start with the age-old problem people have experienced of having 15 minutes where no buses come, and then three buses come, and the same with the streetcars. So we've got to get on to some of those basic efficiencies to improve service for people and improve the traffic. There are some common sense things we can do with traffic signals, with construction schedules and so on to get cars and trucks moving and buses because they're in the same traffic. So you'll be hearing from me on that. It's part of an overall transportation plan, but it must include as well building the Scarborough subway, which Ms. Chow will not, and building the Young Street Relief Line, which she says maybe she'll get around to eventually. Sorry, you have not said anything negative about the TDC service cuts in the four years. Lines have been cut, funding have been cut, TDCs you know, have gone up. It's you so have funny not you would say that. No First of all, I chaired a town hall years. meeting. I chaired a town hall meeting, but asked to do he, so, Ms. Chow, by the union yes, uh, to listen Mr. to complaints. Tory, I didn't even see you, you there. Need to make a and decision. secondly, I was on the radio for four years and talked lots about problems with TTC well, service, including it, three buses coming up. But you up. did not say no to Mr. Ford's cut to TTC Mr. service. Mr. Ford is actually really? right that the funding the of the funding, TTC has gone up, not well, down. Well, the bus have been cut by 14 million. That. Million dollars, okay. In twenty, in the second year, the TDC was cut. All right, time up for that segment.